The Twins were off again Thursday, but we've got plenty of minor league action to talk about. And I was thinking of, you know, who is the leader for Twins hitter of the year in the minor leagues? And it might be this guy, Edouard Julien, crushes an opposite field home run here. Uh, he's got 14 homers on the year, a 297 batting average, 433 on base percentage, and a 503 slugging that works out to a 936 OPS. And, you know, with Christian Encarnacion and Strand and Spencer Steer traded away, we're kind of looking for who's the next guy. And Edouard Julien might be staking his. Cl- oh, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Forgot about Matt Wallner for a second here. He's been off to a slow start since getting promoted to AAA, but he answered tonight and says, Hold on, hold on. I'm still here. I'm still here. On the year, he has a 274 batting average with a 408 on base percentage of 536 slugging. That works out to a 944 OPS. This was his 23rd homer on the year. So that'll be a fun race to watch, but let's get into the game-by-game recaps, starting with the St. Saint Paul Saints. Jordan Balazovic, almost hard to believe. I was going to say almost hard to believe those numbers, but it is hard to believe that he has pitched this poorly this year. Uh, just incredible. And then his first pitch of the night, this seeing-eye single dribbles through, and he's got to be thinking, oh, geez, here we go again. Uh, gets a strikeout on this elevated 96-mile-per-hour fastball. That was the only strikeout he got tonight, but it wasn't wasn't bad. Wasn't all bad. Uh, he manages to go four innings in this game. Uh, runs into trouble in the second inning eventually. Here he's getting some weak contact, but he walks a batter on four pitches. And then his very next pitch after that goes out of the stadium for a two-run home run. Uh, this was kind of a point at which a lot of his starts just completely go sideways, but credit to him. Luckily, hopefully this is a momentum-building start because he did complete four innings. Doesn't sound like a big deal, but that's only the second time he's done it this year. Four innings, four hits, two runs, two walks, just the one strikeout. But again, this guy is just desperate to have anything positive going, and hopefully this can be it for Jordan Balazovic. Again, here in the third inning, walks the guy, gives up another kind of a seeing-eye hit, a little slap hit, but he would manage to work out of that. Um, so hopefully, again, you know, we're talking about baby steps here with Jordan Balazovic, but you saw the numbers. I mean, <laughs> at this point, we'll take baby steps. Anything that's going in the right direction is going to work out for us. And I know a lot of you kind of been asking a lot of questions about how he's looking, so I kind of wanted to show some of this. Clearly, we would like to have seen more than one strikeout in four innings. That's a little bit alarming, but, um, you know, hopefully better days ahead. You know, he's a guy that's obviously slipped a great deal in terms of his stock. Um, so we'll just, you know, there's there's a more season left than maybe we think for these minor league guys. And there's going to be guys that pitch well, that haven't been pitching well, that pitch well uh, to end the season. And we're hoping that Jordan can be one of those guys. Andrew Beck told that Chris Williams were called up to the Saints, and Will Holland and Aaron Sabata were called up to Wichita. Uh, so we'll take a look real quick. Uh, Beck told he drew a walk. That was his one kind of positive plate appearance in this one. You're so new they don't have their, their names on the jerseys. Chris Williams also drew a walk as his kind of one uh, time reaching base. Uh, so congratulations on those guys. We, If you would like to join, we have memberships now on the channel. I talked about Carlos Correa. That's a members-only video you can check out. It's just $2 a month, $3 if you want to be credited at the end of videos. Um, so that's a good way to support the channel. We're moving on to Wichita. And Aaron Sabato, you mentioned the new guys. We showed some new guys in the Saints. Here's the new guys on the Wichita Turbo Tubs tonight. He drew a walk in his one time reaching base. But Will Holland here punishes this triple. He had a big night. Definitely the biggest of the debuting guys. Three for four with this triple. One RBI, two runs scored. He also stole a base. Will Holland playing center field. Uh, looking good out there in his double-A debut. Congratulations to him, former fifth-round pick out of Auburn. Simeon Woods Richardson, let's get to some highlights of him. He's on the mound. Four innings pitch, three hits, two runs, one walk, five strikeouts. He threw 54 of his 78 pitches for strikes. That is 69.2% on the strike percentage. A 3.02 ERA now on the season for Woods Richardson, which that's all been in double A. I believe he still leads the Texas League in ERA. So a guy who's pitching really well in what's a difficult environment for a lot of pitchers. It's a, a good hitter's environment in the Texas League. Uh, so we'll look to him to continue. Anthony Prado, first pitch of the second inning. You know, a guy not known for his power so much, absolutely ambushes that pitch and destroys it way out of there. And, hey, hey, guy out there makes a – you don't make fun of the adults that bring their glove to the stadium, all right? You catch a home run, you bring your glove. That's fine. That's fine. But Prado – 
His second home run since getting called up to Wichita. He's playing shortstop tonight. His seventh start of the season is in that shortstop. Two for three with a walk. Love that guy. Cedar Rapids, this will be the Brooks Lee portion of the recap. In his first plate appearance tonight, he gets a swinging bunk single. They call it a single. We're going to take it. We're going to take it. Uh, This was his only hit of the night. His second plate appearance kind of hits the liner right at the first baseman. Uh, Third plate appearance uh, just kind of pounds him into the ground for a ground out. And then his fourth and final plate appearance of the night was the first time he left the outfield of the evening. Uh, They had him played very well, shifted over, uh, makes the catch out in left field. So he was one for four. And then in the field, this was a curious play. He seemed like he thought he had a lot more time than he did. I'm not sure if his rhythm is off or or what, but they only get the one out there. And then they also only get one out on the next two plays you're going to see here, but much much tougher, uh, less kind of confusion on those. Like I said, uh, one of the couple nights ago, there's no such thing as a routine double play in the minor leagues. Uh, (laughs) So I'll leave you to make your own conclusions on that. But Kyler Fedko delivered the only run of the night for Cedar Rapids tonight, his seventh home run of the season. He has a 727 OPS for Cedar Rapids this year. Fort Myers got crushed 10-1. to 1. Oh, ouch. The muscles just got beat up. Missile Urbina was the only guy with multiple hits. Keone Cavaco was the only guy with an extra base hit. He had a double and a walk. And as you could expect, expect, it was an ugly night for the pitching staff. And a happy anniversary to everyone. This is the one-year anniversary of the Twin System Recap videos coming together. Uh, So in celebration, I opened up this membership uh, program here. Thank you so much. Already tonight, Blah, Shayla H., I Know That Feel Bro, and Matamidi 1997. I'm blown away that we already have people signing up for this. Um, Thank you so much. Thank you for everyone, though. I want to be clear, if you're not going to sign up for a membership, I'm still bringing my A-game on these system recaps every night. So... Uh, Don't expect that to change at all. There will be some premium content available to members. um, And then also, you know, on the premium members, which is a $3 a month uh, subscription, uh, we'll give you a shout out at the end of all my videos. Uh, Thank you so much. Again, And if you're curious, these are uh, cancel at any time. There's no long-term commitment on these. So if I'm not delivering value on those, certainly cancel it. Um, And again, I understand not everybody's going to do that. I still appreciate the support, appreciate you know, coming up on 5,000 subscribers. So cool. I'm really uh, humbled by that. Thank you all so much. Have a great night. Twins are back in action tomorrow. Back in the win column. I'm calling it right now.